Hello and welcome back to part 3 of the B747-8 tutorial where we will be making the tail fin and the vertical stabilizer. Enjoy! So I'm going to hit Shift A, add in a cube, and we're going to scale it down like this. And we're going to hit G, Z, and move it up, kind of like this, move it down to where it's supposed to be. And that is way too far forward, but we'll deal with that later. First, we got to hit, uh, oh, wrong, wrong object. Select the cube. If that's even possible, jeez. This is really that hard to, okay, tab in animo mode, select the top face, and hit G and Z, and extrude it up. And then scale it down to a point. And now we have a nice spiky 747. Um, and uh, a nice spike, so. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move this back by hitting G and then X. Gonna move it back here. And I'm gonna select the top, the top face. And I'm gonna hit, uh, I'm gonna go into the side view and I'm gonna hit G, Z and move it down to where it's aligned. Looking good. Oh, alright. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna select the bottom vertice, the uh, bottom face, and I'm gonna G, X, and move it right here. And then, if you go into side view again, I'm gonna add in a loop cut by hitting Control R, move it down right here, right like so, and then I'm gonna select the bottom face, go into side view, and then I'm gonna hit G, X, and move it like that. Okay. And now I'm going to select this edge right here, and I'm going to hit G, X, and move it right here. Now I'm going to hit this right here, and I'm going to hit G, X, and move it about to right here. And then I'm going to select this one right here, and G, X, and move it back like this and I'm just going to add in a loop cut right here and put it right there then I'm gonna bring this up and I'm just gonna bring everything cut out control R oh not like that I'm just gonna outline these control surfaces like this control R like so and I'm just going to control R and move things down like this. Control R. I want to get all these dimensions right. So control R and I'm going to move it about to right here. Then control R, move it to here. And now I can start doing this uh, cutout process right here. So I'm going to select these two vertices, and I'm going to hit G, and I'm going to move them like this, and I'm going to hit, I'm going to select, uh, and I'm going to do the knife tool, and I'm going to do these two, enter, then I'm going to do the same for the other side, this one, uh, select this one, enter, and now we have this right here, so I can select these faces, and uh, if right now, if, oh, whoopsie, oh, I don't want to select all of these, uh, do I? Okay, I'm just going to select these ones, and if I just select this like this, and then hit P in selection, then I've got some problems. So, I'm going to undo that, and if I go back into solid view, you can see that I've only selected some, so I'm going to select all of them, 
all of them on the other side as well, like this. And I'm gonna hit P selection. And like that. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm gonna select these right here and these right here. P selection. Wait a minute. Uh no. No 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna select these three right here as well. And P selection. And by the way, I should probably tell you that I'm using Control Z to undo my mistakes, which you will probably make some mistakes, so always remember the power of Control Z. Always. Never forget it. So, I'm going to select these right here, and this one, and I'm going to hit S to scale along the Y axis. And I'm going to scale it down, but I should probably turn on proportional identity with O, and then hit S, Y, and scale it down. And that's the end of part three of the Boeing 747-8 tutorial. If you liked it, subscribe and like the video, and stick around for part four. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.